where do I start? Let's start with the pop-up Jack in the Box, known as Cyrus Renault. Every time I watch General Hospital, I'm hoping, I'm hoping not to see Cyrus Renault. I'm hoping. But every time I turn the TV on, Cyrus Renault is on. And it's like watching a bad news report. He's already owned the hospital. Now he wants to own Charlie's Pub. He is like a very bad version of the Monopoly guy. Only 10 times more evil. No, make that 30%. No, 100% more evil. He's already taken a shot at Carly. Jocelyn. Michael. And Sasha. This guy is just basic evil. That is the epitome excuse me of poor Charles' version of Satan himself. I do not like Cyrus Renault. He has been told by Julian that he's not interested. That he doesn't want anything to do with him. And yet, Cyrus Renault will not take no for an answer. Then again, so is your basic rapist. And that is what Cyrus Renault is. Your basic sex offender. I mean, Trina hates him. Portia hates him. Bobby, Carly, Monica, anyone with a lick of sense cannot stand him. Now, the only one that's backing this bozo up is Brittany. Why? I do not know. Nor do I care. Um, Jordan. She's doing it because he's got her under his thumb. Quite literally. Then, at the bar, we got Alexis, who's a complete slush. I mean, like, Missy Drinky Drinky. And she's basically harassing Brit, which, personally, I don't mind. And Alexis is being snarky. I had zero idea that you and Neil were supposed to be So you didn't actively try to destroy my life. Thanks, I appreciate the distinction. Okay, so I get that you're hammered right now, but you can definitely take it down a notch. You should work something stronger. Hello. Excuse the interruption, but do you have No you don't. Uh oh, am I under arrest? Should you be? Good call for once. I have a meeting in a few minutes. I'll keep it brief then. I just thought it was past time for us to sit down together. Because like public health and law enforcement often go hand in hand. But they do. Yeah. I had a collaborative relationship with your predecessor and I was hoping that we can carry that forward and expand on it. Absolutely. So tell me how can GH help the PCPD? Oh, I mean, I think that there are a number of ways. <laughs> Such as, uh, right off the top of my head, um, combating elder and child abuse, domestic violence, uh, oh, 
And of course, drug abuse. Don't mind me. I'd, I'd love to hear all about your business together. Oh, no, no. There's no together. But there could be. And if you were smart, you'd jump at the opportunity. And if he was smart, he would not. Cyrus, what part of he does not want to work with you do you not understand? time to consider my proposal, and by now you must know it would be to your profit. No sale. Is it the size of the offer that's the problem? It's everything. I'm not parting with Charlie's pub and the story. How about this? I'll keep you on as manager. Imagine the windfall of the sale in addition to a substantial salary going forward. You'd be a very rich man, Julian. Think of it as the evolution of the partnership we already have. The partnership? Oh, you guys were writing the The right? one that formed the minute I provided wow. you with an alibi. Are you going fast or slow? I knew it. I knew it. I knew Cyrus Renault wanted something in return. I knew it. He did not do that out of the kindness of his heart. He wanted to own Julian Locke stock and barrel. And now, because he's not getting what he wants, he's going to blackmail Julian. Knew it. I knew it. Why do I have a feeling that it's not going to go south and I'm going to wish it goes south? No, I didn't say that. But now is his mother. You can't separate the two. Sure you can. No, you, you can't. Carly, because one day he's going to grow up. He's going to ask about his mother. He's going to want a place to go and head so to visit. Yeah, and thanks to you, he has a damn it. Carly, Nell was a human being, a person before. No, she was not. Yep, I agree with Carly on that one. She slipped her husband's throat and she kidnapped Wiley. My God. Hey, if you want to go on and on about, about the little girl and the chances she missed, that's fine. But you know what that tells me? It tells me that this is all about you. Really, and you feel qualified to make that determination. Nina, you're projecting. Totally. You did some bad things, you got help, and you turned your life around. And you're thinking maybe, maybe Nell could have too. Maybe someone could have stepped in. Someone could have done something. The stars could have aligned. No. I tried. You were yes, she did. Wonderful. You were nowhere near as toxic as Nell. Not even on your worst day. She couldn't have been saved. Carly, you can stop fighting now. Anytime now. She's dead. You won. Why can't that be? I would have got a point on that one, Nina. What? So, the story 
associated with depression. It's multiple symptoms that hold you back. And you wish the socks would sort themselves. Enough. Then your doctor tells you about Trintelix, a prescription medicine for adults with depression. So you're feeling this overall relief. And Trintelix has no significant impact on the weight in clinical trials. You got this. Tell your doctor right away. I had just popped up out of the ground. That's freaking creepy. That's like the Halloween of Halloween. Okay. Can't turn it on. Nothing. It's not ready yet. Okay. I've seen some pretty awful Halloween stuff. But this creeps me Bye. out. I don't know yet. Bye. But now I did do some pretty horrible, despicable stuff. Was she a human being? Mm. 99% of the time, yes. The other percent of the time, no. Did she do some really creepy crap? Yes. But if that is Nell's hand that just popped up out of the ground, I think Will and Michael should stay married. Just to keep that kid away from that lunatic.